There isn't a ton of production notes that are known about this film, with the exception that Dan O'Bannon disowned the film, as he didn't technically write any of it and was only there for a recognizable name. There is some trivia on IMDb, but not enough for the extensive production of the film, only some tidbits for specific scenes here and there, so I'll just move on to the actual review. Okay, so not only is this a movie that changes up the lore of the zombie, but it's one of the most intriguing and atmospheric movies of the 80s. This movie was kind of made during the period where dreary, melancholic, and slower-paced nihilistic films were being moved into heavily produced gore fests with a favoring towards special effects rather than suspense. Dead and Buried is one of those movies that I feel was the tail end of this era. It feels very much like an atmospheric and dreary 70s film, but with a very, very slight edge towards the 80s with some of the effects. Think of something like The Thing being more of a balance between the 70s and 80s, while this was heavy favoring towards atmosphere and suspense, somewhat similar to The Changeling as well. With that, I cannot fucking believe how great this film was. With it being a little known 80s flick, I thought it was going to be grade A schlock, like a discount reanimator. But it was anything but, as I described. James Farentino does an excellent job in the lead role, as the local sheriff who is on the brink of sanity because of the grisly murders he's dealing with. How this mystery comes to a head and what he actually discovers is quite intriguing. It takes its ideas very seriously, but it doesn't come off as ironically bad or anything like that. We just get roped into this mystery and despite the weirder and weirder things happening that are against any sort of reality, we are more and more intrigued to figure out what this is and what's going on. It's wonderfully creepy and well shot and a competently made film. The only name that people might be familiar with is Jack Albertson, who played Grandpa Joe in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He does a terrific job here with only a small role, and the final moments of the film with him are truly fantastic. This would be the final live action role for him as he did pass away six months after the film was released as he was suffering from cancer through the entirety of filming. But goddamn, did he tough it out like a champ and gave us a great performance to end his career on. In terms of the lore and our sort of sub-theme going on this month, I like how they implement zombies. Almost like the original Haitian version of the zombie, which we'll also get into later this month, where someone is mind-controlled and they don't look like the pop culture zombie that Romero created. As well as them being science experiments, somewhat similar to Reanimator, funnily enough. Even though I have spoiled it quite a bit, and with the warning ahead of this video, I do still strongly recommend this flick, especially if you're into slower paced films of the 70s, with a bit of the gory effects of the 80s. I mean, Stan Winston did do the effects, so that alone could make any horror movie nerd want to watch this flick. While it's not as in your face like some other films he's done, it's still noticeable with how absolutely terrific that any special effects scene is filmed and portrayed except for one of the murders, which was done by a different special effects team. So, go out, find this flick, and give it a watch. I highly recommend it.